Remember, electricity is always looking for all quick paths to the Earth. So, if there were to be a problem with any of the equipment on the pole, the electricity would be attracted to the copper ground because it's a conductive material and pass through it to the Earth. Again, copper thieves seem to target copper grounds because they are at ground level. However, at any point in time, a ground could be doing its job and have electricity running through it, making it very dangerous to a thief or anyone who would touch it. And lastly, on some poles, depending on their location, there could be another larger wire running off it at an angle. This is called a guy wire. It is used to support a pole. Again, if there's a malfunction with the equipment, this wire could become energized, and if people aren't paying attention, it also could become a tripping hazard. You should never pull or hang on a guy wire either. Well, let's quickly review the equipment on a distribution pole. Primary wires are on top and usually carry 12,000 volts of electricity from a substation. A cross arm holds the wires up on the pole. Insulators hold the wires in place and protect the rest of the pole and equipment from having electricity run through it. Lightning arresters protect the pole and equipment from lightning strikes. Cutouts act like a fuse and open when there is a problem with a line or a section of it. The transformer takes the electricity in the primary wire and takes it down to a lower level. The neutral wire is below the transformer and acts as a line back to the substation and balances out the amount of electricity or load on the system. The secondary wire holds the lower level electricity 